Ah, Burrito Neck, we meet again. Shut up and sit down, Aramaki. The hell is this about anyways? My squad has Laughing Man business to attend to. Yeah, actually that's what this meeting's about. During your mission yesterday protecting Dido, the chief of police, did you or your team happen to offend him at all? Uh... Look, I understand you're not swimming in gold or anything, but maybe next time you get death threats from an international terrorist, you pay some more for a security team that knows what they're doing. But I guess not even Japan's best surgeons can remove that gigantic stick from your ass. It's possible. Because he sent me an order this morning that Section 9 is basically off the Laughing Man case. B but we got a government order! He can't just overturn that! He's not the fucking Prime Minister! Quite right. But you see, the police still possess everything related to the Laughing Man. And according to Dido, sadly, all of it suffered heavy electrical damage last night by a wild group of Indians. We regret to inform Section 9 they will have to start the case from scratch. When you say everything related to the Laughing Man, do you mean absolutely everything? All the evidence confiscated six years ago? Gone. All the interviews done with the witnesses? Gone. Who the hell those witnesses even are? Gone. Completely deleted. He just f***ed you all over like a pretty white boy in prison. <sighs> well, I guess with time and money we can retrace some of it. Yeah, that reminds me. I got a second order from him this morning. Section 9's budget has been severely cut to help pay for a new security force he's founding. The Indian Prevention Squad. Located in the Bahamas. That son of a bitch. So, everything related to the Laughing Man? Gone. Completely destroyed. And our budget is... Slashed. For his... vacation bills. So then we're just totally... Yes. Like pretty little white boys. Alright, so... budget cuts. What are we doing about that? Well, running an advanced unit like ours costs quite a bit, so we've had to sell off a few things. First of which was a Tachikoma. So how do you want your corpse, old man? Flame broiled or grilled? Look, I know how much they mean to you, but we had no choice. Don't worry, we made sure to sell it to a good home. Mr. Bato. We've also had to sell excess parts from Boma. His left eye, his bomb defusal kit, and a popcorn maker we found installed in his chest. Oh, oh, first my babies, now my popcorn. Why must you destroy everything I love? Also, we sold a small portion of Togus' brain. He might be showing some slight mental damage over the next week or so, but man, did that get us a buttload of money. Togusa is a key member of the team. We can't afford to be down a man like that. <sighs> it's not like he could turn invisible and swing from rooftops and shit. Bato, you have eight other goddamn Tachkomas. Get over it. As for Togusa, it was a vital sacrifice for our unit's survival. And speaking of which, I need to talk to you both about our next assignment. And that is... This is a well-known drug lord named Marcellus Wallace. Marcello Jarty. Turkey Havarti. Jarty. Party. Creme brulee. Anyways, Fidel Castro here is a big shot overseas in the black market. Over the past year, though, he's been making frequent trips to Japan. Nobody really knows why. Clearly, he's just got the yellow fever. Whatever the reason is, we need more money to work with until our budget gets fixed. So, we're going to capture him and score some big bucks. Someone's paying us for this arrest? Who? Actually, no one is. The plan is to cap this bitch and steal all his drugs. Huh? Oh, now we're talking. But that's against our government sanctions, right? We're only allowed to mobilize under the direct orders from the PM or under the best interests- Best interests of national security, yes. And that's a conveniently broad wording, which I am more than willing to stretch to include Jarvin's possible drug trafficking. So let's go catch us a smuggler and sell off some dope. Alright, Bato, we're getting close to the building. Go ahead and prep your touch coma. Right. Touch, give me manual control for this. Once we land, repelling is gonna be a pain in the ass. Still time, boss! We're going back! Ah! What the fuck? Ah! There's... 
dirty. Yay! Looks like he's got company, too. Ishikawa, can you run a search on this other guy? Already on it. Yep. Looks like he's an underboss for the Kai mob. The Kai. They control most of the drug market in this area. I'm guessing this guy is a business partner of Jarty's. Police! I know Gondo's in there! Open the door now! Whoa! Nice abs! What's your secret? Get the side, <laughs> motherfucker! Shoot him, men! Aim for the supple abs! Man, we just got some info. Those guys are detectives who've been staking out the hotel to capture the Korean guy. If they get our guy too, that means no money. Just so we're clear, you want me to let the criminal shoot all the cops and get away? Yep. Just checking. Tokusa, start tailing Jarty. With any luck, they'll be heading to the hideout right now. The hideout? Yes, the hideout. Where the drugs are stashed. What drugs? The fucking mission, Togusa. We have a mission? I thought we were going to the store. <sighs> Boma, I need you and Pazo to tell Jarty. One step ahead of you. Major, I know I screwed up, but I orange Sanders. If you and Bato can crack the cure, it might. It might. It might. Togusa, go it home. Might. You're clearly not fit to be on a mission right now. Actually, you're probably not fit to drive a car either. Just wait on the side of the road and we'll pick you up later. I'm being chased by a real army! Chief, we need to know how many Korinkai operations are in the area, as well as any visual records of Jarty on the outskirts of the highway. I'll get the AI ladies right on it. Extract all surveillance data wait, from- Wait, wait, the AI what? Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I might have spent some money getting new recon equipment and a team of smart AIs. Sir, we've located the hideout. It's a service station off of the highway. Now patching data to Major Kusanagi. Did you buy all this after we got our budget slashed? You bought could have spent fixing money my brain instead? Or, you know, just not pawning it off in the first place? You know, I'm still not seeing a difference. Let's not hold grudges here. We're a team. We need to stick together. So let's just get this guy, confiscate the drugs, and let the past be the past. Yeah, I'll get right on that later with a bottle of wine. We're coming up on the warehouse now. Looks like this is the place. Bato and I will sneak inside and capture him. Wait! I'm here too. I'll move in from the side. How the hell did you get here? I... don't remember. Wait, what are we doing again? Like I said, let's go, Bato. <laughs> ah, this is the end for me, isn't it? The cops will be here any minute now and they'll have the place completely surrounded. Well... Hello there, Mr. Gondo. It's been six months since your last checkup. Just look at those teeth. Let's get you all cleaned up. Well, that one down. Next we go find Jart. Bato. Damn, these machines must be jamming our signal. There he is. Bato, can you hear me? I see Jarty. I'm moving in. I see Jarty. Huh? Yeah. Say that again? Major, you're not coming through. Damn signal. Whatever. I guess until she gets here, you and me can start the party. Where's Bato? 
Oh, what do you do with a drunken sailor? Grab some rope for the drunken sailor. Give him a half pound anus pounder early in the morning. What the hell? Hey, sorry guys. Someone was interested in buying the comm relay, so I had to shut them off. Hope that didn't cause any problems. Guys, I just found something big. Is it the stash? No, it's... it's a plot device. A what? It's some machine we've never heard of before that duplicates a person's ghost. Jarty's been coming here every five months to blah blah blah. All I'm hearing here is, I didn't find any drugs, boss. So why don't you tell me why this thing actually matters? Well... I think I found a better answer to our money problems than stealing drugs. What do you mean? Let me put it this way. Have you ever wanted to have sex with Fidel Castro? Uh, well, not me personally, but uh, I might know some people who... <laughs> because there's plenty of devices here set up to mass-produce clones of Jarty. And they all are fully programmable. Are you saying we... We start a male prostitution ring? No. A gay whorehouse. Exactly. Think about it. Fidel's sexual revolution. You can see the side of Cuba you never saw before. Chief, do you think we can do this? Well, technically, we can't do most of the shit we did today. But why let that stop us now? Man, today I got to skydive, perform a root canal and help start a gay brothel. Being a cop is fucking tense. Well. Hello there, Mr. Gondo. It's been- It's been six months since your last checkup. Just look at all those teeth. Let's get you 